good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Carpenter. Thank you very much for taking the time to meet with me today. It has been a pleasure working with you thus far, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to continue to assist you with accomplishing your financial goals. For today's meeting, I would like to speak with you specifically about your goals in regards to retirement planning. During previous discussions that we've had, you both have expressed that you enjoy traveling and want to retire as soon as you can to do so. This being said, I think it is important that we touch upon the retirement analysis I put together. The first thing we want to take a look at is Social Security. Social Security benefits begin at age 62 and increase proportionally 11% inflation plus deferral rate each year. Factors you both need to consider when deciding to take Social Security include cash flow, break-even age, tax implications, income limitations, if you collect early, and life expectancy. Kevin, your, your full retirement age is 66. When deciding to take Social Security at age 62 or 66 years old, I calculated your break-even age to be 77 years old. Between ages 66 or 70 years old, I calculated your break-even age to be 77.7 years. This being said, I think taking your Social Security at 66 as you projected it would be in your best interest. However, in order to do a complete Social Security analysis, and you will need to provide us with your benefit information. Another thing you both have to consider, because of how long you have been married, until you have been married for 10 years, you are not able to claim spousal benefits if one of you should pass away. Of course, this may not be a factor, but it is something that you both should be aware of moving forward. Moving on to Kevin, to your IRAs, your traditional IRA is valued at $300,000 and invested in low to medium risk equity mutual funds. And you are the primary beneficiary on this account. And Kevin, your two sons are contingent beneficiaries. The account was funded years ago entirely with deductible contributions, which you previously made me aware of. Kevin, your Roth IRA is also valued at $300,000 and invested in staggered maturity short-term treasury notes. The account was funded by converting several old traditional IRAs over 10 years ago. You both have informed me that you want to use this account to cover a portion of the shortfall between now and when Kevin takes his social security. I was able to calculate that the Roth IRA will be exhausted in just over 21 months and you will have to use other assets to cover the gap until Social Security begins. While on the topic, Kevin, you also asked me to explain what Ann's distribution options or requirements would be from your IRA if you predeceased Ann. And since you are listed as primary beneficiary on the traditional IRA, you will have the option of moving the assets into an inherited IRA or directly into your own personal IRA using the spousal claim benefit. In regards to the Roth IRA, Kevin, you have neglected to name any beneficiaries. This would cause the Roth IRA to go through probate. And although more than likely you'll be named the beneficiary of those assets, you will have to draw down on the account over five years. To make this an easier trans transition for Anne, Kevin, you should add beneficiaries to your Roth IRA just in case anything should happen prior to the account being depleted. And you will have an important decision to make when inheriting Kevin's traditional IRA. There are a lot of factors you will need to consider when collecting from a traditional IRA. If you are younger than 59 and a half and feel as though you need to take a distribution from this account, it would be in your best interest to move the proceeds to an inherited IRA, since you can take penalty-free distributions. If you are older than 59 and a half, when Kevin passes away, you should decide to use the spousal claim 
and move Kevin's traditional IRA into your own name. And since you are seven years younger than Kevin, you will benefit from the additional years of tax deferral before having to take your first minimum required distribution, MRD for short. MRDs are another concern in retirement that Anne will have to be aware of. MRDs are mandatory withdrawals you must take from certain retirement accounts after you reach age 70 and a half. MRD requirements apply to accounts that were contributed to on a pre-tax basis. And in your situa in situation, it would only apply to Kevin's traditional IRA. Continuing on to Kevin's traditional defined benefit pension plan. Kevin, your employer provided you with two options to collect your pension. You can take it as an annuity or as a lump sum. If you decide to elect to take your pension as an annuity, you can choose a single life annuity or joint 50% survivor annuity. The survivor benefit on the joint annuity is equal to 50% of a single life annuity at any retirement age of 62 or older. If you elect a joint and survivor annuity rather than a single life annuity, your payments are reduced by 20%. Kevin, if you predecease Anne, her payments will then be reduced by 50%. The lump sum option would pay out 1.2 million. When debating on how to take your pension, you want to factor in cash flow, break even period, longevity, inflation, and legacy planning. Based on my calculations, you should take the lump sum option. A portfolio being funded with $1.2 million would only have to return 0.14% each year over a 30-year time period to outperform the annuity options the pension provides. I want to finish off by saying that you both have done very well in preparing for your retirement. Based on your current financial position and the estimated expenses, I have no concern about your ability to your obligations, and maintain your standard of living in retirement. Mr. and Mrs. Carpenter, you have a multitude of account registrations to draw from in retirement, after-tax, pre-tax, and tax-free. This will provide you with a great deal of flexibility to be able to manipulate your tax bracket in retirement. Thank you for taking the time to discuss retirement planning with me today as this is a very important piece of your financial plan. I hope you both have a great day.